I just wanted to show you how to make one of these um, sliced images. So what I do for the life um, is I want to use a font that's really thick. So for me, my two favorite ones are Impact and Candy. So I'm going to come up here and type Candy. Candy in here, and you can see that that's a nice big font and then I'm just gonna type life so impact is another um, good one that I used for the God bless America um, that's a good one too so for this I just want the letters closer together so up here on letter space I'm just gonna click the down button until they get pretty close together So you can put things in between the letters or just inside of them. So then I'm just going <clears> to <throat> upload a bunch of images to slice out of here. So to find some that are actually already in or that I have in Crooked Design Space, some of you might have access so you have everything. Others of you might have downloaded cartridges. So I'm going to do scissors. So I'm just going to type in scissors up here. And these scissors will come up and any of them that I own um, will say subscribed. So I just use something I own. So I will click this one to insert and then I want to do a cr cricket sign. So I'm going to click that one. Um, a sewing machine. We'll just do sewing. So any of these that come up, so we'll click on that one. Um, and then what else did I want? Like a hammer. So you can put whatever you want in here. So I will just put that one in. Then let's see what they have for a thread. So And click that one and then um, a drill so they have this but this is one I've uploaded so if there's anything that you want that you don't find all I do is I go into Google and I would try type like drill silhouette and see what comes up. And then I click on images and you see all these drills. So like this one I used, so on mine I just right click it and save image as. And then I'll save it as drill um, to my desktop so I can find it. So it will either save as a PNG or a JPEG. Um, the PNGs already have the um, background removed, so those are a little bit easier. So sometimes I'll just I'll type in drill PNG if you want. Um, and then I also did a marker. So you can do marker. And um, any of these that you find. So again, you can click on one and then save the image as, save that to the desktop. So then when you go back into Cricut Design Space, you can go to the upload button here on the left and then click upload image and browse. And then I think I saved it to my desktop. I'll try, type in drill and open. And so you see the background's already away from here. So I don't need to do anything. I always hit just complex and continue and continue. And then click this, save as a cut image and then continue. So then if I wanted to upload a marker, I do the same thing. 
I go to the marker, open. So this one is a JPEG, so I'd have to actually remove the background. So I hit complex and then continue. And then with my cursor, I just go and I click on all the white. So I just keep clicking. You can even increase it there to get more in it. Here. Okay, and then if you hit continue, I will save this as a cut file. So that's just easy way to get silhouettes and then I will click on both of these and insert the images. I only need one layer to slice. Well, actually only let you slice one layer. So in here, I'm just gonna go and on this, on these eyes over here, if I click that, it goes away. So then I just have one layer. Again, on the sewing machine, I'm just gonna make them a little smaller. And again, I just wouldn't need one layer. So I look at it, it looks like I want this one right here because it shows the most so I'm just gonna hide all of these ones okay scissors same thing I'm gonna hide that the hammer and the cricket I'm gonna hide one of these Okay, so the life, I'm just gonna change this so I can see it better. Okay, so then I'm just gonna place these anywhere I want. And you can use the rotate, you wanna rotate it and the arrow buttons to make it smaller. <clears throat> and just keep putting them in where you want. What else? Oh, I put a paintbrush on here. So let's go to images and type in paintbrush. And I will pick this one. And again, take all the layers. So I'm left with this one. gonna stick that in there okay so now to slice them out you can only do one at a time so I will just click on this and then I'll hold my shift key and click on the whole thing and down here on the right side you see slice so I'm just gonna click slice and you'll see everything goes to the back but that's fine but I'm just gonna click this again and exit click the and then I'm gonna move this back to the back. I'm going to click that again. So now you see that one is sliced. I'm going to do that with every image. I'm going to click on it, hit shift, and then hit the big image, and again hit slice. And it moves to the back, but then I'm just going to go to arrange and move it to the front again. Oh, actually, I want to move it to the back. Sorry, move it to the back. So I'm gonna click this twice and cut all those out. I'm gonna grab this one again, shift and grab the whole thing and slice. Move this to the back. And cut that out, so click that one. Shift on the whole thing, slice again. And 
and move it to the back. So I'm just going to do that with every single one of these. Slice. Move to back. I'm just leaving some of them there. I'll go and remove those at the end. Okay, so that was my last one. And slice. So now if I move that away, I can just put a around this whole thing and exit so those all go away so now I have my life cut out there um, and you'll see it's already attached you don't need to attach it or anything um, so then to do crafter for me the easiest thing is to use word market so I have it up here on my tab because I use it so much it's wordmark.it and this will show you every font you have on your computer so picking the font is always the hardest part. Um, so I'm going to type in here crafter. And then when I hit enter, you will see it pulls up all the fonts that I have um, installed in my computer. So I go through and I kind of want a script font, font. So I will go down and just kind of click on whichever one I Think I might use and keep going down maybe that one whichever ones that I like hmm. so you can pick any one that you want. And the nice thing about this is then you can go to filter selected and it will show you all of them next to each other. So you can kind of decide what you want. So when I go back to this, I'm going to insert text. And I'm going to enter crafter and then go up to my font and say I like the amistry one. I will start. My computer is wanting to be slow. Amistry. And say, like, click that. And then to make them connect together, I usually will move the letters as close as possible. First. So I can see these ones are starting to attach and then I will ungroup them and kind of move them how I want them. So move that a little bit closer. And then you can even go to word market and go back and see how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to move that T all the way in there. Okay, so once I have them all together, I'm going to put a square around all of them. And down here, I'm going to hit weld. So that puts them all together. So now you can put this wherever you want. You can even, if you undo the lock, you can make it longer, bigger. If you want to keep the ratio, then keep the lock on. But you can kind of fiddle it without however you want. So and then make it as big as you want. Like I said, you can use any font. This font's a little bit different on this one than I did. 